Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another Kawaii Slime Company purchase. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and open this box up and show you what I've got. All right, so like last time, same cute box. This is shaped a little differently, but it could just be because these are smaller slimes. Um, I ordered two slimes this time around, and I also ordered um, one add-on, and I got a free gift, which was also an add-on. So again, this comes with the uh, slime activator like it did last time. Just open these up and see what we've got. And here is a slime softener. Alright, so the first one is this slime here. This is a strawberry mango slime. And then um, I did get the $1.50 add-on heart slime, and it also said that it came with um, an additional a free gift, which was also one of these heart slimes. And I ordered, let me see what it's called. Here is another one of the slimes, and it has some little add-ins here. Just take a look at the um, invoice. So, all right, this is the mango strawberry sunrise slime, random mini heart slime. Then this is the kawaii seafood glossy slime and a mystery mini heart slime that was an add-on but i also got this so i'm not sure what this is but this wasn't anything that i ordered and it's not on my packing slip so that is interesting let's take a look at these and see what that is so i think the first thing i'm going to do is open these little mystery heart slimes See what we've got here. So last time I had to activate the slimes, this looks like a white glue slime. And it smells really good. I don't know what this smell is. It's kind of like candy. Maybe like candy corn or pumpkin. Okay, this is super sticky. Actually, it smells like pumpkin spice. That's very interesting. And it is very, very sticky. So I think I'm going to have to reactivate this one ever so slightly. Because I've got it all over my hand now. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells just like pumpkin spice. That is so interesting. So last time I tried to do this, I had to um, use a lot of activator. So I'm just going to do a couple pumps this time instead of doing just one at a time. And it is like leaving stuff all over my mirror. All right. So here is the slime. It looks like it has some confetti pieces in it. And it smells just like pumpkin spice. It smells really good. So I'm going to put that back in the little heart container. 
And that is super cute. I actually really like these size slims because I can easily take them with me and play with them on the go. Now I think this other one is also a white slime. Um, let's go ahead and open this. This one smells interesting. Kind of like maple sugar. Oh, and the little lid broke on this one, unfortunately, but you can still stick it back on just like that. It's, oh, actually it's broken. So maybe not. I'm going to have to transfer this into a different case. That is unfortunate. So you can see here it's broken. Um, this one doesn't feel as sticky as the other one. So it actually seems like it's pretty well activated. Has little confetti pieces in it like the other one. So I'm just going to transfer this into one of my little Tupperware containers since unfortunately this little plastic container is broken. And I don't want my slime to dry out. So I just got these at Walmart. They're just little plastic containers and I use these for my slimes. So this is actually really nice consistency. Not super sticky, which I really appreciate because I like to be able to play with it and I do like them to be kind of melty. But as you can see, it does not stick, which is great. So that one was perfect. Now the next one I'm going to open is this like mystery one, whatever this is. Wasn't on the packing slip. I have no idea what it is. It smells like uh, Cocoa Puffs or Fruity Pebbles or something. And it seems like it's pretty dry. This kind of feels like a clay slime. So it's an odd consistency. It's like dry but wet. It has like a wet residue but it also feels dry. So it's probably a clay slime. And actually, this is kind of fun to play with. It seems like it's perfectly activated. Kind of feels like Silly Putty, almost. And it has a very strong scent. Reminds me of the milk that's left over after Fruity Pebbles. Don't mind my hand, I got stuck in some blue agave <laughs> the other day, so that was fun. This is actually really fun to play with. I don't know why they sent it, but I'm glad that they did. <laughs> it feels so nice. This is a really fun slime to play with, actually. Let's see if we can make some bubbles, some popping noises. Doesn't really seem to make a lot of popping noises, but it's like Super spreadable, super fun, and not sticky at all. So I will probably be taking this one to work. I like to play with slime on my break. It's really relaxing, kind of like self-care practice, meditation with slime. 
so it makes some popping noises but yeah that's cool thanks kawaii slime company for sending that extra i'm gonna pack this back in the container that it came in if i can get it all back in there Seafood Glossy Slime. So it has a really cute um, packaging. And let's open this up. Oh my. Okay, so it's like all stuck to the lid. So here's the top of that, and it comes with these little extras, super cute. I'm going to go ahead and add those in. doesn't shine and let's go for it now I don't know how sticky this is supposed to be because it's got flum beads in there I feel like I'm going to have to reactivate this I know you don't want this too um, activated because then all the flown beads will start to come out, but I think this is a pretty good um, consistency here. So I like the texture of this. It feels pretty nice. Um, I think I'll leave it like this and just kind of let it sit and come back to it tomorrow. I will say with my slimes that I bought last time, um, they still felt kind of sticky, but um, within the next day or so, they sort of settled um, and they're a lot easier to play with now. I don't have any issues whatsoever with them. So I'm gonna let this one just sit and we'll see how it does. But I love the little add-ins. I think that they're so cute. Let me try and get all of this off of my hand real quick. <sighs> Gotta kind of make really fast motions with this stuff. Okay, so here's the container plop it back in there and um, I noticed some pieces sort of like flying off here and there and done my best to collect them but definitely if you have like small kids you might want to be careful or pets so there's that one still got some pieces here and there um, Lastly is this one, which I'm very excited about. I like their little drink containers. Something I will note is that 
my lavender latte drink container had um, had some air that was able to get through here where the bow is connected. And as you can see, my knife, oh sorry, you can't actually see. Um, but here, my knife just very easily goes through. There's a hole here. So it kind of pushes in. Um, so that can potentially dry out your slime. I put my other slime in a different container last time because just this part here, um, it, yeah, it goes like that. So there's that. Okay, so right off the bat, they have cute little add-ins. So these strawberries and this rubbery mango. Let me just bring this up so you can see that. So this little rubbery mango, these little strawberries, and some beads. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take the beads out for right now because I want to add them in after I play with the slime a little bit. Now, I haven't even brought this close to my face, but I can already smell it. It smells very good. It's like mango strawberry. And it's kind of the consistency of, I would say, jello. Here is the slime. It feels really nice. And this is very similar to the lavender latte drink doesn't really seem to need anything. I did think last time that the lavender one needed some softener, but I think I'm going to leave this one alone. I feel like if I, yeah, so I can break it apart, but um, if you're kind of slow with it, then it doesn't really fall apart. So here's the slime. We'll add these little bits in. I'm going to try this with taking out the big mango piece and the strawberry pieces and just play with it with the little beads. So it's a pretty clear slime, although it does seem to get cloudy pretty quickly. But that happens with slime, and as long as you leave it alone for a little bit, let it settle, it'll clear up.
This one's actually really nice to play with. It feels really soft, squishy. I don't really feel the beads in it much at all, because there weren't very many, but um, as you can see, a couple of them had already fallen out. Could just be because it's not super sticky, which I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me at all. I prefer it to not be too sticky so that I can play with it and not spend 20 hours trying to get it off my hands. So. So it does make lots of popping sounds. Now something that I will note just after playing with this for a little while, it kind of reminds me of a car air freshener, the smell. It's not like a bad smell, it's just that's what it reminds me of. There you go. That is my review of the Mango Strawberry Sunrise Slime. That's a seven ounce container. This slime was, uh, I believe it was on sale. It was for $11. And then the Kawaii Seafood Glossy Slime. This one is a four ounce low profile container, and this one was eight dollars. And this one, it also kind of smells like fruity pebble milk. So, and it already has seemed to um, kind of chilled out with the stickiness. So, like, I can stick my finger in here and it's not sticking everywhere. So that's good. A little bit, but not bad. Okay. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these slimes, they will be linked in the description below. So I hope that you have a fantastic day. And I hope that you always remember, no matter who you are, or where you are, 
You are loved and you are enough. Bye.